Hey guys, what's up? How are you? I hope that you guys are having an amazing day today. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Jarell. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for clicking on this video and being here with me again. In today's video, we are going to be doing my 2002. My kids are cracking up because I said 2002. Guys, I'm in 2022. My brain, I swear. Anyways, let's continue on. Favorite products, must have things that I absolutely love and recommend to you guys. So if you guys are interested in this video, knowing all of my makeup products from primers all the way to eyeshadow palettes, then let's go ahead and get into it. But before we do, please don't forget to like and of course, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And without further ado, let's get on to the video. Guys, I'm not used to having my hair done and I am feeling a certain way right now. With this hair, I try to make some waves. My hair is super fizzy. If you guys have any recommendations on like how to tame the frizz, please let your girl know. But let's go ahead and get into the video because it is definitely going to be a very, very long one. So don't forget to look at the chapters down under this video right here, just in case you guys are looking for specific items that I am going to mention, whether it is foundations, concealers, blushes, um, bronzers, eyeshadow palettes, uh, face palettes, or anything like that. So they are all going to be down there and it's a little bit easier for you to just click either on the timestamp or on the chapters. So let's go ahead and start with primers and the first one that I want to share with you is this one right here from Huda Beauty and it is called the Glow Wish a Blur Jam. It feels really nice and cooling on the skin, really nice and hydrated. It doesn't make your skin feel greasy or anything. In fact, it actually does the opposite thing. It feels a little bit more mattifying but in a hydrating kind of way which is really interesting. Love the formula, love the consistency of it and the way that it just goes on the skin. But if you're looking for something that gives you a little bit of more glow, this is the one that I always reach for, especially in the outer part of my face. I just really like the way that it gives me a really beautiful glow within. From Natasha Denona, it is called the Hygiene Skin Glass. Really beautiful, luxurious kind of package. You guys can see it here on camera. It does have like a nice, glowy golden kind of finish to it pearl essence is so hydrating so nice so beautiful and i absolutely love it so let's go ahead and now move on to foundations and this was the hardest thing that i had to do besides the eyeshadow palettes because i reviewed so many foundations in 2022 it was insane i do have a whole entire playlist just dedicated to foundations review and if you guys want to check it out i will link it down below but i had to narrow it down just to the ones that i know that i really enjoy the way that my skin looks not only on camera but also in real life how it wore for the whole entire day and all of that good stuff now when it comes to a tinted moisturizer this one was definitely something that i was reaching for which is the laura mercier tinted moisturizer light revealer this one was definitely something that I really enjoy more than any of her other foundations just because it gives you a really nice beautiful glow to the skin it gives you a really nice light coverage so this is for like every single day kind of foundation and it just looks really nice and healthy on the skin just cover it up with concealers on the spots that you really need to cover up and this one is just going to give you that finished touch I absolutely love this one for those no makeup makeup kind of days so not in any specific order but i do have like a super super favorite out of all the foundations that i am going to mention to you right now so let's go ahead and start with the one that i am wearing which is from valentino and this one is in the shade ma3 and this foundation just feels really nice and luxurious it's not super watery it does feel a little bit more on the thicker side i use a brush to blend it into the skin it really blends out really nice and beautiful so you can build it up but i don't suggest for you to build it up too much just because it can feel a little bit heavy especially if you have like pores like I do right here between my brows that's where I feel that is looking a little bit heavy but it does look amazing in the rest of the face so I can deal with that it is a really nice luxurious again kind of foundation it does have a mild scent to it so if you do not like any like scented foundations that you're not going to like a lot of the ones <laughs> that I am going to mention because they do have a scent but that one is just really nice this one right here which is from Lancome I tried the hourglass and comparing it to this one so I did a side by side 
of the Hourglass on one side of my face and then this one right here from Lancome on the other side of my face and at the end of the video I really enjoy this one the most I just it just worked with my skin so much better and this one is the Tinted Dole Ultra Wear Foundation and I do have the shade in 335W a really beautiful foundation it does have a scent so again if you do not like scented foundations then you're not going to like this one then you can definitely enjoy the Hourglass because it does not not have any scent and they kind of were exactly the same i just prefer the lancome just a little bit better than the hourglass the other foundation that i absolutely fell in love with and i think that a lot of us did fall in love with this foundation it just came out at the very beginning of the year is this one right here from chanel and this is the number one the chanel it gives you a really nice medium coverage all of the ones that i am mentioning right now does give you a really nice medium coverage so this one is no exception i absolutely love the Way that it actually just went onto the skin is so beautiful to work with it doesn't feel like it's too thick too heavy it does have a little bit of a moussey consistency to it but again it just looks really nice on the skin it does again have that fragrance to it but it's not super potent that you are going to be annoyed by but it does have a scent to it however the finish of it the way that just your skin glows is just absolutely stunning i have to remind myself to use this one because i just don't want it to go bad i absolutely love the way the skin looks i mean you can see it right here it just gives you such a beautiful beautiful glow to the skin and i love that one that one is amazing so next foundation is this one right here from Givenchy and this is called the Prisma Libre Skin Caring Matte Foundation and this is in the shade 4W280. So here is the foundation as you can see it's really nice and matte so all of the glowiness um, that I had before is completely gone. I did do a whole entire review on this foundation comparing it to the Forever Dior Matte Foundation which it was also something new for us in uh, 2022 and I gotta say that I really enjoy this one so much more the way that I just wore on the skin the way that it looked on the skin at the end of the day it just looked amazing so I gotta say that this one is my favorite comparing it to the Dior so my number one favorite foundation even though I wasn't ranking them but the one that I have to recommend the most out of all of these foundations that I just showed you is this one right here from House Labs is just the one that I have been reaching for the one that I just feel the most beautiful on the one one that just really does something special to me and just makes me feel absolutely flawless i didn't want to use it today because i always use it so i wanted to use and give love to my other foundations but uh, this one right here from house labs is just absolutely stunning i love it so much it is so gorgeous on the skin i do have the shade in 260c you can see how gorgeous that blends so this is exactly the way that i apply it to my skin I just apply a little bit to my cheeks and i just just go ahead and blend it and warm it up and spread it out with my fingers and then just to finesse it a little bit better I use a brush but this is the way that I've learned that I love it the most just because I don't use a lot of product it looks still really nice and beautiful it covers all of my imperfections I have redness I have hyperpigmentations on this side of my face and I do have some discoloration on around my mouth so this way it just gives me the perfect coverage and it gives me a really nice a beautiful finish so it is not super superly glowy it is not matte it's just the perfect finish in my opinion again this is my number one most used most loved foundation that I have. So let's go ahead and now move on to concealers. The ones that I do want to mention are this ones right here from Huda Beauty and this ones are the full filter concealers. Everyone has been raving about these concealers and with such a good reason because they are just really amazing. A little bit goes a long way. It just covers up so nicely. The only thing is that I do have to pick up two different shades. The ones that I have were kindly sent to me but they are just a little bit too light for my skin tone even though I do make it work because it is just a 
so beautiful and gives you such a beautiful coverage under your eyes i do have to buy the right tone for it but the ones that i do have is nougat and coconut flakes those are the ones that were kindly sent to me but again i do need to purchase i just feel so bad purchasing another shade when i already have a two shade so i'm trying to work with what i have because i also have other concealers so i just it's really hard for me to buy the right shade when i have so many concealers another concealer that i have here is from lys this is just a beautiful beautiful concealer it is really nice and hydrating it does give you a really nice medium coverage it does not give you full coverage like it claims to be it does claim to be a full coverage concealer in my opinion it's more of a medium coverage concealer but it is really nice and hydrating I absolutely love these type of tones for my skin just because I do have some darkness. So it does cover up the darkness. It does give me really nice, beautiful finish under my eyes. It does not cling to any of my texture. It does not crease on me. Again, it's just a really nice, beautiful everyday type of concealer really gorgeous and the last concealer that i have here is from dominique cosmetics and this one has a metal applicator so it does take a little while for you to get the product out but you really only need a little bit this gives you a little bit more coverage than the lyns it still feels really nice and hydrating and the metal applicator i feel makes it feel really nice and cooling that is what i have on my eyes today the shade of it it's in creme brulee and this is right next to it as you can see it's a little bit more on the matte side comparing it to the lys that is still really nice and glowy this one it's more on the matte side but it's really really close in shade and again i absolutely love these type of shades really close to my skin tone just to cover the darkness and to give me coverage absolutely love this concealer it's a really nice long lasting it does not crease under your eyes and it gives you a really nice medium to full coverage oh my goodness i cannot believe that i forgot to mention this concealer right here from milk makeup i absolutely love this concealer this one is in the shade 10 w i love this concealer i don't know i just looked like really quickly on my table and i saw that i did not mention this one so yeah this one right here from milk makeup is definitely a beautiful concealer if you are looking for something that is hydrating it gives you a really nice coverage it does increase it, it's just really nice perfect concealer for me in my opinion it just works so well especially for those no makeup makeup kind of days or even when i am wearing foundation i absolutely love this concealer so yeah almost forgot that one yeah let's go ahead and now move on to my favorite powders i'm not going to take too much time talking about it because i think that i have already mentioned this ones in previous videos and this one right here is the Givenchy powder in the shade rose and here we have it it is a beautiful powder that is just really awesome to like set my t-zone that is what i use it for and it gives you a really nice beautiful finish to the skin it just looks really nice and smooth and just pretty much makes all of your pores disappear and i absolutely love this one and i can see myself repurchasing this powder again once it's done but the next one that it kind of just fell into my routine and the more that i used it the more that i really really enjoyed it is this one right here from gosas i know that it's not new 2022 was the year that i use this one so much and i do not see myself reaching away from this powder now i understand the hype on it because everyone all of my friends were just saying how this powder is just so gorgeous i do have to set my foundation with a loose powder just to give me a little bit more of a mattifying effect especially on my t-zone but this one i use on the rest of my face and it gives me a within kind of glow it just looks so nice and perfected on the skin I don't know it gives it like a really nice beautiful finish to it and i absolutely love this one from cosas and the powder that i absolutely love and 100 recommend i mean i love the ones that i just mentioned to you guys but this one right here is just something special it gives you a really nice beautiful glow to the skin it just looks absolutely insane so beautiful it's just I love it. It's this one right here from Armani Beauty and it is in the shade of four. And this is how it looks on the pan. I love this powder. Just with a fluffy brush to set the rest of my face, sometimes even the center of my face very lightly after I powder with a loose setting powder like I've mentioned. And this one right here, it gives you the most beautiful natural glow to your skin. It just makes your skin look flawless perfected like you have a filter on it's just so gorgeous and i 
am in love with this powder really 100% recommend for sure um when it comes to blushes I gotta give it to Giorgio Armani again Armani Beauty this one is a cream blush and it's just absolutely gorgeous it's in the shade 30 and this is how it looks on the pan it's just really nice a beautiful like kind of a terracotta blush and that is what I have on my cheeks I use this brush right here just to really make it super super like soft on the skin i didn't want it to be too overpowering and it is gorgeous it just melts to your skin so nicely blends like a dream it is so 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 nice and this is the color swatch on the back of my hand just in case you guys wanted to see it the other two blushes that i have that are worth mentioning are these two right here from rms i do have mine in the shade sangria and this one right here is in the shade mai tai and i absolutely love both of them especially paired together i will put sangria all the way on the back of my cheeks and mai tai in the front of my cheeks and that is the reason why i really did not use highlighters much just because I absolutely love like glowy blushes or blushes that gives a really nice luminosity to the skin but not too much of a glow love love these blushes right here if you are looking for something that is going to give you pigmentation blendability glowiness to your cheeks then RMS is definitely the way to go I want them all, but I settle for these two for now. The other two blushes that went viral are these two right here from Dior, and I totally understand why. This one right here, it's really a nice, beautiful, cool tone kind of pink. It's so, 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 so pretty on the skin. Another one from Dior is this one right here, which is in the shade of Coral. I absolutely love this one. This one is definitely more my type, and I was using these blushes during spring and summer so much, along with the RMS blushes, and I understand the hype behind them because they are really nice quality blushes if you've never tried anything from dior or rms or Giorgio armani again i will link everything down below because they are definitely worth a checking out now going into face palettes the ones that i am going to mention and i have talked about this ones so much already this one is the natasha denona my dream cheek palettes i absolutely love this little trio right here the highlighter the blush they are just my favorite this one which is a powder highlighter it's really not something that i was reaching for it is a really nice highlighter but these two are the ones that i just definitely reach for over and over and over again as you you can see like you can see how much damage i have actually done to this little trio love this one and for my everyday kind of makeup super easy quick looks this ones are the ones that i reach for a lot which is the hourglass it always makes it to my yearly favorites any palettes from hourglass just because they are so versatile you can use them on the eyes you can use them for a complete kind of look this one is for deeper skin tones but i can definitely make it work for my skin tone and i always do and this this one right here is the one that I reach for the most out of the two just because it actually works for my skin tone a little bit better and I can use absolutely all of the shades here I absolutely love reaching for this one especially when I am in a rush and the last face palette that I have here is from Pat McGrath and this one is in nude Venus I absolutely love these blushes right here really nice on the skin they just blend so effortlessly and it just looks absolutely stunning and the color that it gives you you can definitely modify it to your liking you can be light-handed and build it up to be a little bit more punchy but i love this palette so much from what you can see i don't know if the camera is going to pick it up but it is super dirty because it is my go-to palette along with the ones that i have mentioned now moving on to cream bronzers i do have this one right here from charlotte tilbury it is just really nice and beautiful it just blends into the skin so nice and effortlessly it just gives you a really nice kind of bronze look to it this one is in the shade medium medium too and i absolutely love the packaging love how big it is love how it blends to the skin and another one that i did really enjoy is this one right here from lys in the shade harmony really nice and creamy super pigmented you do only need a little bit and a little bit goes a long way it blends like a dream though so it is a really nice cream bronzer and to set those bronzers in place the bronzers that i reach for the most i gotta say like 
100%. <laughs> I know that this one right here, it's not a favor for some people and I don't know why because it actually worked out for me so much and it's the one that I have on my skin today. It just blends so beautiful and never makes me feel like it's patchy. It just goes onto the skin so gorgeous and it gives me a really nice like warmth to my skin is this one right here from House Lamps and I do have mine in the shade Medium Level 6. It is the perfect perfect shade for me i absolutely love this bronzer the packaging i love it so much and i mean you can see how much i've used it because i use it a lot especially during the spring and summer months i was using it a lot but whenever i did feel like i didn't want something too bronzy too like golden too warm and more on the neutral side i was reaching for this one right here which is the charlotte tilbury in the shade to medium this one right here i gotta say though i mean out of the two this one is definitely going to be like a favorite just because it goes with warm tones cool tones it's just so nice and it looks absolutely stunning on the skin it blends so nice and effortlessly as well so yeah out of those two maybe the charlotte tilbury is a number one but I do really enjoy both of them. So yeah. So I am going to skip highlighters altogether just because for 2022, I was really not reaching for any highlighters. And whenever I did, I mean, I will use this one right here from House Labs just because it was new. I was testing it, but I wasn't really in love with it. I do want to mention it because it's definitely one of the highlighters that I did use for 2022, but that's it. I mean, the rest of the time I was either using the highlighters from the face palettes and sometimes I would just skip it all together just because I was just in love with like glowy blushes and I was satisfied with that. Um, so I didn't really have to add any highlighters to the skin. Uh, but yeah, that is definitely changing this year for sure. So for brows, I really don't have anything new except for this one right here, which is the NYX, the brow glue. And I am still testing it, but so far so good. I really do recommend it, especially if you want something a little bit more affordable. It does remind me a little bit of the Anastasia Beverly Hills in the gel formula, just because it does take a little while to set. But once it's set, it makes my brows just stay in place. And I really do enjoy this one. For the one mascara that I do recommend is this one right here from Tower 20. I think that it's a really nice beautiful mascara along with my Patrick Ta as well as the Rare Beauty Those are just the type of mascaras that I really really do enjoy But this one is a new to me. It was really new for me for 2022 And I understand why everyone went crazy about it just because it is really good and it actually holds my curls That is what I have on my eyes today. Nothing but this mascara And now for liner I do have a two liners, but I can't find the other one the pixie beauty the black liner It is really Really nice and creamy and super black and this one right here from persona cosmetics i just could not stop using it this one is also in the shade of black really really nice beautiful and pigmented so for lipsticks and lip liners this one right here from charlotte tilbury in the shade of foxy brown and this one right here from rare beauty in the shade strong has been the two that i reach for the most Besides, of course, the ones that I always, always use, which is the Makeup Forever and Urban Decay. But these two right here are a little bit different than the ones that I just use all the time, just because they are more on the brown side. And I absolutely love these two right here. It just pairs so well with really nice brown lipsticks which has been my favorite whenever i do use a lipstick i am using the rare beauty ones those are just really nice i do have a three shades but this one right here in particular which is in the shade wise is the one that i have been reaching for the most all right guys so let's go ahead and finish it up with some eyeshadow palettes that are just super amazing that you definitely need to look into if you are into eyeshadows like i am if you've never tried any of these brands and you are looking for the perfect most beautiful eyeshadows then these ones are going to be the ones that i recommend let's go ahead and start with anastasia Beverly hills and this one is the rose metals palette and here we have the color story if you are into like grungy looks super smoky kind of looks something that you want for it to be a stand out then this palette is definitely going to be your best friend because it is 
so gorgeous. The mattes, they just really nice blend themselves out. They are just so perfect, super easy to work with. And the metallic shades are just a really nice, beautiful, super buttery. And I absolutely love this one. This shade has to be like my favorite shade just because it gives you such a glowiness to your inner corners or if you just want to put it all over your eyelid it's just perfection i absolutely love this palette so much i do have multiple looks with this palette just in case you guys are interested you can definitely find it on my channel i will try to remember to put it down below in the description area but i do have also a playlist for anastasia Beverly hills but yeah the other one that i 100 recommend especially if you are into this type of color story which is more on the rosiness is this one right here from patrick ta he is definitely killing it with the eyeshadow palettes i absolutely love the way that this one just went on to the eyes they look absolutely gorgeous super super nice i did not and i was not able to give this palette so much love but the looks that i can come up with with this palette they just look so nice romantic beautiful glittery it's just absolutely gorgeous and this palette is beautiful beautiful the one palette that i absolutely love and i always wanted to just go back to and for some reason i just don't have the time to give all of my high shadow palettes the love that they really deserve and not only that constantly reviewing products trying new products i tend to forget the products that i once love and i kind of just forget about them give them a little break and then never have the time to go back and this is exactly what happened to this palette right here from dominique cosmetics this one is called the moment if you are into colors then you are going to enjoy this one especially if you like like really nice metallic shades this one right here that has a duochrome to it is absolutely phenomenal on the eyes really nice and beautiful super easy to work with her mattes are always my favorite just because you can maneuver them and you can build them up so nicely and it's just absolutely stunning the quality for dominique cosmetics eyeshadows is just one of my favorites and this one did not disappoint another palette that i absolutely 100 recommend if you can still get your hands on this palette then i 100 tell you to run because this one is just phenomenal is this one right here from pat mcgrath and it is called let me tell you it is called the celestial nirvana eyeshadow palette in bronze bliss it is super super gorgeous this shade is just my favorite in the whole entire palette but i absolutely love this whole entire palette together that is what i have on the eyes today along with this palette right here from Tarte, just to use the mattes just to blend it in but this palette is the start of the show that is what i have on my lids and i absolutely love this one so much and that is the reason why i purchased the other eyeshadow palettes from pat mcgrath on the star wars collection thinking that it was going to be the same kind of vibe from this one unfortunately it wasn't but yeah if you can get your hands on this one definitely do because they are just amazing Another palette that you know that I was going to make my favorites, most used, most recommended palettes is this one right here from Makeup by Mario. This one is called the Ethereal Eyes. I hoping that he still has it available i know that it was limited edition if you can still get your hands on this one definitely do because it is absolutely gorgeous this is the perfect neutral eyeshadow palette that you need and that you will ever need if you want something glam if you want something soft if you want something ethereal like the name says it then you are definitely going to be enjoying this palette a hundred percent it is just so gorgeous all of these special shades that we have they are just so gorgeous this one it has to be my favorite shade out of the whole entire palette but this palette overall is just a hundred percent beautiful like there's no dots in this palette whatsoever am i missing something i feel like okay maybe it wouldn't be ethereal if we had a black but I, I don't know this palette is just absolutely stunning you definitely need it in your collection i hope that you listen to me because i i promise you i will not be telling you that you need it if you really don't but of course you can live without it that's okay 
<laughs> so the last palette that I have to show you and also the last makeup product that I'm going to talk to you guys about is uh, this one right here from Natasha Denona. I gotta say that I absolutely love this palette right here, which is called My Dreams Palette. The packaging is just absolutely gorgeous in my opinion. I really, really do like it. And all of the shades, we do have some cool tones, some warm tones, some pinky tones. We have a matte and a deep, really nice dark brown, which I absolutely love. So you can make it super wearable everyday kind of looks glam looks you can also make it a little bit more fun with this a duochrome shade i absolutely love this palette i think that she nailed it she gave us everything in one palette that we will ever need out of all the ones that i've mentioned to you i absolutely love all of them but if i have to start somewhere it will definitely be with this one right here from natasha denona it's just amazing all right guys so that is it for this video for all of my favorites or must have most used for 2022 i hope that this video was helpful and that is it i hope that you guys have a beautiful day thank you so much for being here thank you so much for your love your time and support please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and i will see you next time